St. Pete mayor salty about Trump. Homeless man in Colorado hits the jackpot. Austrians liquefy their assets. Good morning, PHS. I'm Ella Fernandez. And I'm Abby Gonzo. Let's get the show on the road. One job. It's okay. It's okay. It's totally fine. It's really fine. Don't stress. Don't stress. St. Pete Mayor Rick Kreisman is not about having Trump on his turf. In a tweet he sent out on Monday, he forbids Trump from coming to St. Petersburg. At Kreisman tweeted, I am hereby barring Donald Trump from entering St. Pete until we fully understand the dangerous threat posed by all Trumps. Trump's recent comments have many cringing in discomfort, and this is just one of the re repercussions of that. That's just what happens when you have no filter and also speak on national television. Moving on, we have two different stories about some lucky folks stumbling upon some major cash. First, Mr. Michael Engforce wins half a million in the Colorado lottery. And it couldn't have been happened to a better person. Michael is a 61-year-old homeless man who spends every night on the floor of an Aspen homeless center. Shelter. Engforce plans to use his treasure to meet up with his daughter, who he hasn't seen in 20 years. Just in time for the holidays. Talk about some Christmas spirit. Congratulations, Michael. And now, another bit of good fortune in Austria. It's not every day that you find cold, hard cash floating along a river. But that is exactly what happened when two young men spotted over 100,000 euros gliding down the Danube River. Where's, this all, where's all this luck coming from? Where can I get some? Must be Christmas spirit. I knew I shouldn't have stopped believing in Santa. Santa's real, Abby. Right. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to our school announcements. Abby, I think we should start with everyone's favorite, food. Great idea, Ella. Today's lunch includes taco fiesta salad bowl, all beef mm. hot dog on a pretzel bun, Ooh. buffalo chicken strips, pumpkin ah. loaf with yogurt, seasoned black beans, and a crisp garden salad. Also, today's poetry jam. Make sure you check it out. Don't want to miss it. Are you interested in getting involved with tennis? If so, make sure to turn in your athletic packets to Miss Drumsta in room 609 by next Wednesday, the 16th. If you need a packet, please pick one up in the main office. Speaking of sports, we have a lot going on tonight. Boys and girls basketball play both at home tonight. Boys soccer killed it last night against Palm Harbor. Wrestling goes against Chamberlain tonight. Don't miss it. Also, don't forget to catch boys and girls basketball tonight. Cheer has a competition today at Blake. Wish our ladies some major look. luck. <laughs> if you're in NHS, don't forget that Leonard's Photography will be on campus this Friday to take cap and gown portraits for the yearbook. You should receive an order form with information on how to schedule an appointment in homeroom. Attention underclassmen, your programming sheets are due completed to your English teachers by this Friday. Make sure it's complete with teacher approval if needed. Don't wait till the last minute. There's a ton of options for electives, but here's an inside look at some of the stars of the morning show for more insight on TV4. Thanks for watching the show. So, uh, what do you think about the morning show? Uh, it's good. It's it's good. I've never seen the morning show. We have a morning show. Not too far from the studio, Antonio. <laughs> Hello. 
You didn't hear this from me, but uh, they're starting to call themselves the Big Three. It's, it's a little weird. You suck! <laughs> what, a, what a guy, what a guy. I can't believe I get to work with those celebrities on a day-to-day -day basis. I know, right? Last year, a reminder for all yearbook staff that yearbooks are only on sale for a limited time, so order yours today and avoid paying double the price. I heard the yearbook is looking pretty good, just saying. And now we have our guest appearance, Peter Keeper. We're going to tell you some jokes. <laughs> what does a nosy pepper do? Get all up in your business. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's Bruce Lee's favorite drink? What are you doing, dude? What -a! And another question. Why does Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella? Stop. Faux drizzle. And one last thing, Peter. How does it feel to be voted most attractive male at plant? Honestly, it's such a humbling experience to go to such a school with, you know, the less fortunate. I get to work with them on a daily basis and <laughs> just like, you know, spread what I know. Thank you, Peter. Is well, that that's all we have for you today, plant. <laughs> Have a great day. Oh.